I just got a message that I'm being moved to another hotel. I'm not sure where in the city. Uh, probably close. Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm getting moved, which means I'm leaving the hotel before 14 days is up. So do my 14 days restart. That would suck. Um, yeah, does this one charge money? Do I now suddenly have to pay for it? I don't know. Ew, this is, hmm. I'm hoping for the best. I think it's going to be okay. But what's weird about it is that I heard someone like really coughing next door, like full chest pneumonia cough. And I sent a message to the doctor here because we, I got her WeChat and I said, uh, you know, someone's coughing. Sounds bad. Maybe check on them. Cause, uh, who knows? It's all self-reporting here. Like you have to tell them I'm feeling this way and this is my temperature. The doctor doesn't come in and take my temperature. I send her a message and she says, any discomfort, anything? And I say, no, I'm good. So if this person's coughing up a storm, doesn't want to like, I'm like, you know, all right. If this person's not saying they have a cough, then there's a problem because they're coughing and it sounds very unhealthy. And so I send her this message and three hours later, suddenly I'm moving hotels for my safety. She says they're turning this place into a nucleic acid testing facility. And for my safety, I'd move to a new hotel. So are they moving everybody or just me? You know, like, I think they're worried. The foreigner heard someone coughing. Let's get him out of there. If everyone's moving, then that's that makes sense. But if it's just me on a bus getting out of here, because I know there's a lot of other people in this hotel. Weird, right? We're going to see. Let's see. I got a... Uh... A call today at 11.30 saying I'm um, going to a new hotel at 3. I think I told you that already. And uh, and now I just get a call uh, saying, okay, it's time to go to the new hotel. And it is 10.30. I've been waiting for seven and a half hours to go to this new hotel. It's absolutely ridiculous. I've been packed up and waiting for seven and a half hours. It's like bringing everyone one by one or something like that, like to maintain quarantine, which is fine, but what the fuck? Jesus Christ, I'm fucking tired of it. How can, how can you give me, how can you be seven and a half hours off the fucking mark? Finally got to my new hotel. This all kind of looks the same. Actually looks pretty nice. Um, a little nicer than the other one. Similar shower, all that. Same kind of floor. All right, bathroom's the same, but I got a little more room in here. And this TV is new, that's a new TV. That is a smart TV, cool. Um, a little chair. There's much more space here, this is great much more space and it looks like this chair is probably not super squeaky the other one was so squeaky goodness gracious all right window uh better view i guess you know i'm not like staring at a building right next to me as much i'll show you tomorrow and a larger bed too that's cool i think it's bigger Oh, whoops, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, cool, and uh, oh, I think it sounds a little better too. Is it a little padded? Okay. Anyway, yep, new room. Okay, last thing before I go. Uh, remember those tiny towels? I left those tiny towels at the old hotel. <laughs> and so when I got here, I said, hey, I need towels. And they're like, we gave you towels. I said, what do you mean? I just got here. I left those at the old hotel. Check out these towels. Oh my God, they're normal size towels. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, guess how they got here. <laughs>